Good afternoon, fellow Good afternoon, friends. Good afternoon, friends of Fair. We are gathered here today to remember the thousands and millions of Fairians that died, and those of them also who died for Fair who were not originally in Biafrans, but they died for Biafra. We are gathered here today to remember them, to remind ourselves of the cost that humans pay to have their freedom. We are so, I am going to, as the Deputy National Coordinator of uh, Indigenous People of Biafra, I will, um, I will ask us to, you know, so we can start and uh, make sure. All right. Let's continue. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. The, 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 uh, we have a good display. So going back to what I was saying, today is 28th of May. We are supposed to remember our people on the target as instructed by our leader. But unfortunately, as you all know, we did not secure a permit to do that on the target. So today, are gathered here so that to celebrate but we will still honor our people on the third day. we are instructed and reminded that it is very very important because the third day of May is a solemn uh, day and it is very very important that we even if you are not here today you can on the third day gather with your family and give glory and prayers, and offer prayers for our brothers and sisters who have been, who are being murdered, and those of them who paid the price. As you all know, if you look, if you look at this, uh, this banner here, you can see the banner. In front of this banner are uh, lists of about five or six people who paid the ultimate price from 1967 till 1970 
And all, the other banner over there also shows people who are presently paying the price so that we can have our freedom. It is important that you will remember those who paid the price that we may be here. Today is 28th of May. On this day, actually, somebody called Bruce Merrill, a young Jewish Colombian University student, want himself so that we may have freedom to draw attention to Congress that they may stop the war that was going on in Biafra in 1967. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of price that people pay, even those who don't know it, even those who don't know the story. The story is so large, but this young man paid the price and died and burned himself right over there. That our brothers and sisters, and most of us actually in the 1967 we are young, some of us were not born. That young man, if you look at this banner here, can you please count that banner? Yes, Bruce Merrill. That's Bruce Merrill there. He paid the price that we may have freedom. If you look on this right over here, it's uh, Steve Jobs. You all know Steve Jobs. He's the, the CEO, the late CEO of Apple. Steve Jobs also abandoned his faith because he saw a Times Magazine publication of Biafran children starving. And Steve Jobs had to take the, tip, the magazine to his pastor and ask him if God knows about this. And the pastor said, yes, that God knows everything. And Steve Jobs said to him, if God knows about this, does God know about these children and what will happen to them? And the pastor actually said, God knows everything. And Steve Jobs abandoned his faith. He announced that he would never worship anymore. From that day till today, until he, let, he died, he never went to church. So you, but you can see how far God can move somebody. That's Steve Jobs. On top over here is our, of course, the People's General. All the way up there, that's uh, Chief uh, Juku, uh, Ikemba Ojuku. And uh, on his, uh, this side over here is uh, Philip Edjo. And if you go through, there were also some very important uh, 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 missionaries who fought for Biafra. And this over here, you see uh, Mark Gozins. Mark Gozins, I think, was uh, one of the second in command, in Bia uh, third in command in Biafra. Uh, and, and over here is also Rolf Steiner and in a pilot who is still living till today. This pilot here is still alive. So ladies and gentlemen, we, we are gathered here today again, as I said earlier on, to honor our heroes. I will want, from now we will begin to follow our programs. We're gonna do some prayers according to what the uh, our CEO, uh, sorry, the, uh, the Directorate of State sent, and that we will have to follow that directions. Thank you very much, and hold on, please. us today. This is New York City IPOB Memorial Day of our late defenders of homeland, the land of Biafra. I know you are watching us from far and near. We want to remind you who we are before I pray. I know in your whole lifetime, you have never met any tribe, any nation, any people that says that they started from the Garden of Eden. 
This is the tribe. Anybody who will contradict me from all over the world, let him come and challenge my statements of today. This is the family. This is the group. This is the tribe that started from the Garden of Eden because the Hebrew language was the first language in the Garden of Eden. And I have every odd, every proof to prove what I'm saying in the Bible. That my language, the language of Hebrew, was the first language in the Garden of Eden. And here today, the original people that inhabited the, the earth and populated this whole